Hey there everybody, I'm so glad to see you here again and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and today we're gonna watch one comedian that I have never ever heard Dylan Moran on Russians will be our video called and about me I have been learning English for two years and uh, right now we have one more opportunity to improve it and uh, increase our comprehension level of listening let's do this together by the way I googled about Dylan Moran he is an Irish person and uh, I like uh, I really want to see Ireland for one day because I like this leprechaunian stuff maybe it will be funny by the way on passport of uh, Ireland people I found harp when I uh, worked as a hotel it is kind of interesting fact about them let's go watching maybe it will be good maybe not if you can help me in the comment section below you can write your own comments about like uh, is it correct I think about something or is not well, something like this and uh, your recommendations maybe I always uh, answer to your to your messages like for 24 hours or 48 hours let's go watching <laughs> central microphone on the Russian language and it is STS. STS means uh, on the here S C T C. It is STS in the Russian language. It means uh, our television host. It is so popular. I watched this channel a lot when I was young. <laughs> Uh, спасибо. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now, I uh, there's so much to talk about here uh, going on uh, in Russia right now and in Europe and uh, and the world and so on. And most of the time in the West, we have very little information about you. All we really have is some literature, some history, and some movies. And the the movies are not very reliable. <laughs> And the best way I found to find out about Russian people is to, is to say to a Russian person, what, do you, what are they like? But I can only speak to the ones in the West. And the, one, the way they describe Russians is intense. Because they say they're the best people in the world. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> I love them, but I hate them. They're, they're, they're so ignorant and so stupid and the most intelligent people I've ever met. They have amazing minds. They're incredibly stubborn. Witty. And they think about everything. They're very spiritual, but they're cold. They won't tell you anything. And then they tell you everything. They tell you everything that ever happened in their lives and what happened to their mother and their father and their grandmother and so on. And then they insist you stay for dinner. And you have to eat all the food and the chairs and the curtains. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes, uh, Russian people likes to eat, like to eat uh, kind of in a guest, in a guest place. Russian people always try to find... Uh, the way to take advantage of something like uh, when you go to happy birthday party and you can see like people who prepared something for you you need to eat it because you bought present this the a present and uh, present may be cost to you Fifty dollars, yes, and you should eat for sixty, seventy to take advantage of it. It is uh, a bit of Russian people around us. Not every person, but uh, we have some part of them. <laughs> and I, you know, you listen to this and you think, "Wow, I didn't know it was so complex." And they say, "It's not complex. It's the simplest thing in the world." What's wrong with you? Are you stupid or crazy or both? <laughs> and you're fat. I love you. Here, eat this. And it's. <laughs> very intense but that and that's the case when you're here and you're talking to people because they have this it's like people know a secret it's in their eyes when they listen to you if you speak there's kind of fireworks in the eyes because where I'm from everybody's very expressive and demonstrative you know in Ireland everybody goes ah, ah, all the time because it was never a powerful place <laughs> and um, so people made a big display when they when they speak but here it's all in the eyes 
people listen to you and you feel like they really understand. They understand you in a way you've never been understood before. So you tell them more and you tell them more and they're looking and these fireworks are in their eyes. And then you wait for them to respond and they come closer and they say something like, do you like soup? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I like soup, yeah. Kind of. I know a place where we can get good soup. But is that all you're going to say to me? Is that your response to everything I've just told you about my life? <laughs> no, we should go now. It will close. <laughs> By the way, his Russian, Russian speaking impression is better than of uh, another people who are from, uh, from uh, like another comedians from America and British that I heard. They do not really correct, uh, correct. Uh, Russian language expressions. They do this, oh dude, hello everybody, I know uh, how to speak uh, Russian accent. No, it is not correct. R correct Russian accent, it is, hello everybody, what's new in your, in your life? I hope that everything is fine, like this way. It is so hard, tough, and he made it correct. The other way to find out about Russians is, is, is from film, that's the obvious way, but the Hollywood presentation is very stereotypical, it is always the same. The men tend to be all, you know, bad guys who uh, say things like, uh, since I come to your country I make bomb. <laughs> they have a scar that goes from here down to here, and their left hand is a blender or a hook or something. And, um, <laughs> It's very easy for me to make bomb because you Americans are so stupid. You spend all time playing baseball and eating hamburger. And, um, and the women are very tragic. The women, they, have a f they look far away all the time and they say, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Not anymore. <laughs> well, only to me. It's too late for everything. Don't touch me. The look, the look is, you know, it's a very distinct Russian look, and then you come here, and the, you see people have a very... The gender definition is very strong. Women exactly. Women look very feminine, and uh, Orchin Stilnia, and all that stuff, and the guys are... They have only two looks, really. They either tend to be muzhik... <laughs> muzhik, it is dude. <laughs> or chuvak. And a chuvak, it is a man dude, too. Muzhik, it is more for... Uh, huge person who are so maybe with a with a belly of beer that's it <laughs> now the the tuvac is very easily recognizable type you know with the kind of floppy and the, and complicated clothes <laughs> thing yeah the... he showed right now batan batan it is someone who who are so intelligent and who are creep. Yes, he showed Russian creep right now. Yeah, da, da, yes, no, uh, the, the, and the, and the, and the muzhik is a, well, it's just a simpler kind of appearance. <laughs> this is true, this is true, he showed it correct. This, um, and you know, the language is, is, is very beautiful, but it's very difficult. I don't know, is it difficult or not, I understand it. <laughs> like going into shops to use my three, four words of Russian <laughs> so that I, I can pretend I can speak Russian for just a minute. And then the woman looks at me and says, Sto? Um, <laughs> it means, so what? <laughs> but, I mean, I might as well just tell the truth, you know, I mean, at this stage there's no point pretending any, anymore. Um, yes, Bjorn. Uh, it means, I am a spy. And, uh, the, <laughs> And you're a spy too? <laughs> yes, no. I know. Robot in an ass. Work for us. Pastor <laughs> Reis, I'm not. Repeat after me. I hate Tolstoy. Ichakova. And Chekhov. I love you, Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. <laughs> Eat donuts. Thank you very much. And, uh, and donuts. Much. 
it's so stereotypical. I don't know. Uh, last last phrases are so stereotypical for me because I I was communicating with a lot of. Uh, English people when I worked at Autel, when I also was in my dormitory, students dormitory, I had some, uh, I had some uh, immigrants, uh, I mean that uh, international students in our dormitory when I was uh, in my university and we were communicating and they was trying to use some Russian phrases and they were learning Russian language also, I teach them Russian language a, b a bit, I taught and uh, I want to say that it's so stereotypical talk on the on the end of this video. It is so cringe for me, maybe for some people who are from who are older ages, they will they will will find it more like a funny. But I I can find it funny. But this kind of for me is so like a, the same tape tape, you know, like the CD disc or maybe the same listening one one uh, music all over again 10 hours long like it it feels for me this way because it's so stereotypical words that used but it is nice it is kind of him yes i understand it nice and amazing stand up uh, funny dude and thanks uh, for this russian subtitles i understood that uh, everything yes and uh, i uh, I just did it correct. It is really nice to read uh, Russian subtitles and Eng and uh, listen in English because I can kind of do do understand it better. I can hear and translate it in the same time. Bilingual, funny, interesting, and uh, our next goal is to create more video reactions in uh, on English comedians, on American comedians, Ireland comedians to find something interesting in their speeches of uh, people from another countries because uh, by doing it we can by doing watching them we can improve our own style of comedy also we can improve english by doing it and uh, how do i learn english how do i learn english i watch comedy i read books i do writing i do speaking and need to do this in a way like I watch video, yes, and need to write something about it and need to speak about it. And by doing it, you create more connections inside of your mind about it's like a mind palaces. You create associations with it. I hope you understand me. It is a kind of one word for a specific comedian like Tommy like uh, Tommy, Tommy Banana, it is for Jimmy Carr, yes, or for Bill Burr, it is Psycho and uh, something else, like you can create connections inside of your mind. Thank you a lot for watching, have a wonderful day and always improve so daily. Bye-bye.